Hello, back again with more Valkyria Chronicles. Uh, last time we had that ridiculous mission that we had to cheese in the end because it had infinitely spawning enemies. Uh, yeah, that's all I can remember happening. Oh yeah, Alyssa was a Valkyria, but we knew that was happening. Anyway. Okay. So, do the usual, back to headquarters. Uh, training field. Maybe we upgrade in this time. Ooh, we've got quite a lot of XP. Pants are definitely worth upgrading. We're going to check this as well. Still got enough for another upgrade as long as it's not snipers. Go. Okay. Oh. You. New order. Neutralize. Protects one ally from being counterattacked after firing. Interesting. You're one level closer to human! Microphone a bit far away there. Okay, R&D. Well Hi, Leon. We got anything new. Ooh, yeah. Machine guns, yeah. Oh. No, no new sniper, flamethrower, yep. Grenade? No. Oh, I only got one grenade upgrade left. Armor? Yep. That uh, tanks, a device, body enhancements. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Spare thread. Don't really care about. I could just buy them anyway, but the. Are we going to get any body announcements for this thing ever? Water upgrade at least, that's something. Not that I ever use the mortar. Yeah. And I can install that because I'm not using it anything else. Okay. Come back! Shit, I should have gone to the cemetery first, shouldn't I? Yeah, don't have enough XP for anything new. Use nice. Oh well. Not getting that any any well ever, probably. Okay, book mode. Yes. Uh save. Now, I think that there is actually new things that come up. Report. There we go. So we can go back through previous sections to pick up the quests that we get from going to the... Uh, uh, oh, there's the beach episode. We get from the reporter lady so 
we'll, go, we'll just go all the way back to the beginning, make sure we haven't missed anything. Report. A taste of home. Don't know if any of them are actually missions or just more story stuff. Okay, so we've done all of that, we've done all of that. Okay. This looks like it's all just story stuff. Squad 7 of Regiment 3. My first impression, good. <sighs> Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, squad leader. Next in command, Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. That lieutenant looks softer than I'd expect for the son of the late General Gunther. And her. Her hometown is Brule. Same as Gunther. Could be childhood friends. <laughs> but if I'm lucky, they were childhood sweethearts. If I remember correctly, they didn't actually know each other. But it's a while ago, I can't remember. Largo Potter and Corporal Bridget Stark. Oh, wait, that's right. Stark had a nickname. Gotta jot that down. Goes by Rosie. There. Rosie's Looks called Bridget? Like those two don't trust Gunther much yet. That could be good. Could be really good. Who does that leave? Right. The tank pilot, Corporal Isara Gunther. She did. Huh, she's the lieutenant's sister. Now that's strange. She looks darksome to me. Wonder how that comes into the picture. <laughs> you couldn't ask for a more colorful crew than that, could you? Something tells me these guys are different than the usual troop somehow. Hmm. Maybe my keen journalistic instincts? <laughs> well then? The truth's not gonna uncover itself. Here I come, ready or not. Oh, that's the first mission where there were people hiding the grats. Largo and Rosie. Oh, there's Sergeant Potter and Corporal Stark with him. It's weird hearing their surnames. Hey, guys, mind if I ask a few questions? It'll only take a second. What? Like an interview? What do you want to go interviewing us for? Aw, oh, come on, big guy. I bet we'd make better topics than some rich kid. Wonderful. Let's start with you then, Largo. You fought in the first European War, right? Yeah, I've been a soldier ever since, too. I'm what you'd call a seasoned warrior, see? And why did you choose to stay in the force? Most people try to avoid the soldiering life. It's an honest living, plus I got my reasons. Besides, I ain't the only one. Look at L. L? Who's L? If I had to guess, I'd say Eleanor Verrat. Captain Verrat, that is. Third Regiment. It seems you've got quite a history with her. Care to fill in some details for us? Th there ain't no details. Is this the trash you want to write about? Look, I'm a busy guy. I'm out of here. Hey, Largo, wait up! Oh, just let him go. We can have a little chat, just the two of us girls. So, Rosie. Never talk to reporters. Beautiful name, by the way. Do you like flowers? <laughs> I used to sing at a bar. It was hardly a flower patch, but my nickname there stuck. Tell you what, though. Some customers came from miles away just to hear me sing. My, my. So why is a pretty young songbird with a voice as sweet as a rose so... Racist. ...towards Lieutenant Gunther and all those others? <laughs> I just ain't trusting my back to a stinking dark hair. There you go. Prove my point. Traumatic past experience with a dark sin leave you bitter, maybe? Think what you want. I got better things to do than sit around gabbing about him is all. You can put me down as allergic, yeah? Just chatting and I'm starting to feel sick. 
<laughs> Bet she'd spill the beans if you got her riled up enough. Maybe next time. Converting desk. Going on. Yeah, there we go. Still, a veteran carrying a torch for his captain and a darkson hating Chantus? Chantus? They may be cranky, but they're characters. They are indeed characters. Isara! In memoria. Boo! Oh, hello, Miss Ellet. How are you? A little freaked out now. You didn't even bat an eye at that. We're staring at the sky pretty intently. Something up there we should know about? I'd like to fly. Well, <laughs> actually... I'd like to fly my brother. Fly your brother? Care to expound on that? You don't seem the type to have her head in the clouds. It's very romantic. I believe myself to be quite logical, really. Too logical, perhaps. Okay, so if you don't mind my asking, how exactly are you and your brother related? Uh. Wait, let's leave that for now. How would you describe your brother as a person? Welx is... Objectively speaking, he can seem a little strange sometimes. I see. Although I'm a little unsure of what that means, coming from you. But he is a very kind person, and loyal. Anytime my heritage brought me trouble, he was the first to come to my defense. I see. Sounds like you really love him, huh? I would say... I respect him a great deal. Gotcha. Sounds like you lucked out in the sibling department, then. Yes, very much so. That's why I'd like to give him the opportunity to fly. I'm still not sure I follow that exactly, but we'll leave that for another day. Thanks for your time. Next up, squad leader Gunther himself. Hello, hello! Are you ready for your big interview? Hello, Miss Ellet. Hard at work again, I see. Stop Didn't you bothering my squad. Oh, Alicia, I wanted to get in a chat with That's you today, a face. too. Wait, really? You're going to write an article about me? I can't say whether it'll make the paper, but I do have <laughs> some questions for you. You've been at Lieutenant Gunther's side since you left Brule. Tell me what he's like. Wait a minute. You want to interview me about him? Well, let's see. We only met just a few days ago, but... Good, yeah. I didn't think that they knew each other. He's a pretty interesting person. You never know what he's going to say next. Beetle-tastic. See? I see. So, forget he's your boss for a second. What do you think of him as a guy? What? I've never really thought about it. I don't... <laughs> Is that so? Well, Lieutenant Gunther, care to comment in her place? Lieutenant, where'd he go? Huh? Oh, sorry. Uh, there was just this crazy-looking bug. I got distracted. See what I mean? He's an interesting guy, if unpredictable. No kidding. Now, Lieutenant Gunther, I have a couple of questions for you. First up, how do you feel about this war, as the son of a hero from the First European War? Same as anybody else, I guess. I want it to be over. Are people looking at me as the son of a hero? Well, maybe I am, but I'm still just me. Okay, then. Just go Let's talk up. about you. What are you... I feel like the present world is made up of things we've inherited from the past. That's deep. 
We get life and a home from our parents, knowledge from our teachers. And not just the good stuff. Take prejudice against Darksons. That's learned behavior. Every creature out there is trying to pass things along to future generations. I want to pass on what I think is right. I'm fighting for the ability to do that. Thank you very much. That's all I've got for you today. Great. We're done? I want to get back to that fascinating insect again. Huh. You really hit the nail on the head. He's as entertaining as he is unpredictable. I was planning on moving along to the next squad after interviewing everyone in Squad 7. But I think I'll stick around and learn a bit more about you Sevens, if you don't mind. Not at all. Just try to stay out of the combat zones, for your own safety. No, please. I'm not Come to the front lines. I go where the scoop takes me. That's just how I roll. Okay. What we got next? Largo's Passion. I think this might be a bit of a catch-up episode on all these bits that we've missed. She cured the trade route. Ah, I'm starving! Why do they call us here at lunchtime? Ah, oh, you always get snippy the minute your stomach rumbles, Largo. Sorry, guys. Have you been waiting long? I'll get right to the briefing. You may already be aware of the recent hike in food prices. Tell me about it. I do remember one worker at the mess hall mentioning that produce prices were rising. Apparently the Empire has taken hold of the trade route farmers use to ship their stock. What did you say? Vegetable crisis grips Gallia. Not a very exciting headline. You mocking the power of vegetables? <laughs> what? I was just... What? Vegetables are like bombs packed tight with all kinds of important nutrients. Kids gotta eat them to grow up right. And the body's practically made of vegetables. Okay. Which are like bombs? In any case, Squad 7's next mission is to clear that trade route of Imperials. All right, time to put the fear of veggies into these imps. <laughs> the fear of veggies? Is he serious? I think this is a fight. The vegetable root incident. You will now be briefed on the operation. Mission will be forced on the outskirts of Vassal. An enemy blockade has restricted traffic along this route. Fear of combat spilling over into civilian dwellings here prevents us from making this a large scale operation. Okay, you'll have to leave your tank on the sidelines and lead a small force of foot soldiers into the village. Okay, that's fine. Destroy the two tanks standing by the road ahead. Maybe far from the tanks, just march along the roads. Maybe a long way around, but you're better off heading through the village and securing a spot to attack safely. Afraid we can't spare a medic to accompany a team as small as this one you'll be taking in. Ooh, night up. No sightline to targets more than a certain distance away, and you can't spot them in action mode. Jesus. Oof. Okay, so these are different missions. No, no orders either. Jeez. Oh, and I've got to take Welkin. God damn. Welkin and Largo. Okay, well. Be sure it is then. Alright, here's. Hmm. If they're all going to be this complicated, maybe we should leave these until the end. The bastards blocking our veggies are here, ain't they? Let's bust some heads! Shh, be quiet! You want them to hear us? This is a stealth operation with just a few soldiers. Lose anyone and the mission fails. Yeah, I got it. Now let's go get violent for vegetables. 
Um, you want to work with me here, Largo? Jesus Christ. Moving out! Say something about not being able to spot them in action mode. Hmm. Nice work. Keep taking them down. Advanced units have engaged the enemy. Support them. You don't have the good guns, but you've got a gun that should be a lot better than these, at least. Yeah. Yes! Enemy unit neutralized! Yeah. Windows notifications. Let me, uh, mute those. Okay, we're back. Uh... I ended my turn by accident when I swapped back from all the tabbing, but never mind. Oh, he's going to take forever to get up there anywhere, isn't he? How many more action points we got? One. My turn, okay? Well, might as well kill the only other person I can see. Please. Oh, you tosser. First. Can't beat the smell of fresh soil. Now's your chance. What? Enemy tank spotted. Brace yourselves for incoming fire. Where's the enemy tank? Yeah, you can... No? Okay. He didn't want to kill himself on Alicia either. Just watch this! Just well can even need to be here. Just run as far as you can. Oh yeah, there you go. I'll need him to take out the tanks, but... Other than that, he's okay. useless. Enemy sighted. But That's a turret. That's not good. Core team, move in. Follow the advance units. Better take care of that. Moving out. Now. Hmm. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Enemy unit spotted. Ooh. All my movement. Well, they're not going to be getting any reinforcements, so.
How? How did you miss? You're literally standing next to me. Jesus, that's a big rifle. I didn't notice how long it was. There's another bad guy. Can you just stay there? No one cares. Enemy sighted. Enemy, Enemy unit sighted. spotted. Watch out for incoming fire. Now. Hmm. Works. Well, Largo's going to take way too long to get up there, isn't I? Let's be honest. Ow. Oh. Why? Why didn't that game? My turn, okay? Don't even think of dodging. That's better. I expect to see all of you back here safely. That was fun. I mean, it probably would have been more difficult if I had done it when I first unlocked it, but... Hey. Argo's dream. That should end our vegetable short. <laughs> I ever tell you my old man's a farmer? Feels good to know I'm helping farm folk out. Growing up on the farm, I was always helping with the harvest out there in the field. I'm serious when I say veggies are king, too. The more you eat, the healthier you get. I agree. A lot of nutrients vegetables offer can't be found anywhere else. Plus, I feel like vegetables are a way to take in the power of nature as a whole. Power of nature, huh? Yeah. Plants grow by absorbing energy from the sun, the soil, even tiny microbes. Eating vegetables is like getting all that natural energy right from the source. <laughs> Never heard veggies told quite like that before. I tell you, boss, you got your head on right. You got my mark. <laughs> Thanks, Largo. That means a lot to me. Hey, boss. Let me tell you a stupid dream I have. My folks' old farm went under, and I want to start it up again. As an organic veggie farm. Funny, huh? Big Macho Man goes from flinging bullets to being king of the carrot patch. I'm not laughing. Bless. If you're dedicated, I'm sure you'll grow some fine vegetables. Yeah, What's stop calling them veggies, though. To Go to vegetables. What you've grown. Boss, you'd be welcome to eat all you wanted. But you'd have to help with the harvest. And out on the farm, I'm squad leader. Be ready. I'm sure we can retrofit the Edelweiss. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm feeling good today. Veggies for all. That was fun. Uh Let's go back to headquarters and see if I can buy any orders from the cemetery. Doubt it, but you never know. It's possible. How to. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I hope we'll meet again. I should probably go to the. Uh... The writing on the wall as well. Nothing new. And yeah, nothing new there either. Okay. Come back. Uh, I think I've got another medal as well, haven't I? I mean, I've always got more medals. Hey, Queen. Princess, whatever.
multiple guns. That it? Okay, bye. Uh, book mode. Yes. Okay. Uh, done that. A taste of home. This looks old story as well. And done. Hmm? Who's there? No. It's the pig. Hans? Did you come here all by yourself? Boy, you sure are smart. Hey, stop tugging, Hans. What's I wonder who does the VO for the pig. Okay, okay, I get it. Lead the way. And you can stop biting my boots already. You went and got welcome for me? Nice going, Hans. Thanks. I just got led around base by a pig. Any idea what he wants with me, Alicia? Oh no, I was the one who wanted to see you. Are you hungry, Walken? Hungry? Well, yeah, actually. Really? Oh, good. I whipped a little something up for you. It's a bacon sandwich. Come see. What? Back in the kitchen? Whoa. Why are you impressed by going to the kitchen? Tea for two and a half. Wow! I've never seen so much bread in one place. You baked all this yourself, Alicia? Mm-hmm. It's been a while since I made anything. I was worried I might be getting a bit rusty. But the oven was free, so I helped myself. It smells great. I mean, it does look good. Okay. Here goes. Uh, you literally eating just plain bread. <laughs> Not even slicing it. Welcome. You okay? Delicious. Really? Yeah. I've never eaten bread this good. It's really impressive. Um. 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 Welkin, you look like a chipmunk. You know how chipmunks and hamsters stuff their little cheeks full of food like that? I finally understand why. I don't think you do. They're all telling us what they want to do after the war. Set some serious death flags here. I can't believe you put it all away. It was a little scary. Did you just eat six loaves of bread? Still, I'm glad you liked it. It feels good to see people enjoying my bread. Oh, that can't be good. It felt good eating it. Thanks for baking it all. You're welcome. Oh, Welkin, uh, you have some... There's just a little crumb. There we go. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you said you worked at a bakery before the war started? Yeah. I was a live-in apprentice under the Meister running the shop. Once things settle down, I plan on taking the national exams and opening up my own bakery. National exams for baking? Hmm. Wow. You need to be licensed to run a bakery? That sounds pretty tough. It's been my dream since I was a little girl. It's what I enjoy doing the most. I love imagining entire families eating the bread I make together. A loving husband, maybe, and cute little kids waiting for their mom to get home. So we can eat bread and nothing else. A basket of my bread, and the kids all cheer and embrace her. Okay. Oh, and what if my bread brings the husband and wife closer together? 
She could say, Oh, honey, you have a crumb in your beard, and then she'd... <laughs> uh... Listen to me. <laughs> That's just like what happened here a minute ago, Welkin, but I, um... Are... are you all right, Alicia? They're getting a lot more facial animations in these side stories. Huh? I, I'm fine. Anyway, I'll keep baking it if you keep eating it. It's a deal. And thanks again. Okay. Uh, done that. Done that. Done that. Done that. Ooh. Squad 7's R&R. It's definitely a beach episode. Strap in. <laughs> Who's gonna smash the watermelon? Figured this has got to be big if they put out an emergency call, right? Ah, oh, back into the field again? Militia ever heard of time off? I'm sorry to have called you here so early. I had news for Squad 7 of a pressing nature. The higher-ups were watching, both during your recovery of the princess and elsewhere. In recognition of those accomplishments, you and I are being granted special leave. Ooh! That's great news. Are you serious? Music to my ears. How wonderful. There's more. We've been granted access to a stretch of shoreline owned by House Randgrees. House Randgrees owns a stretch of shoreline? In other words, our orders are to cut loose and relax on a posh private beach. No way. That princess really knows how to up the morale, don't she? The whole place to ourselves. Talk about luxury. Hey, but what should I do? I don't own a swimsuit. Then come on, let's go shopping. I'll pick out something nice for you. Uh, okay. Wow, it's been years, huh? This should be fun, though, Ease. Yes. Very. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. You've earned this. <laughs> Not sure if I'm ready for this. Nothing will ever beat. Uh, big boss on the beach in. You can really oh, this is a what's it called? Beach. It's beautiful. The one with Paz. There's not many places this well preserved around anymore. Fuck, I can't remember the name of the game. It's the one before Me uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Hi, Welkin. <sighs> this uh, swimsuit was Rosie's idea. Really, I tried to tell her no. I just. I wasn't sure I could pull it off. Um, what do you think? Oh. Do I look okay? Uh, mm, mm, it's great, actually. Great? You mean it? Huh? Uh, yeah. That is, you're, you're as pretty as a white-winged gull. I look like a seagull? Yeah. Those wings are just gorgeous. Okay, so that was a compliment? You bet it was. The white-winged gull is just about my favorite bird. Okay. Then thanks, Welkin. <laughs> Someone's taking this private beach thing a little too literally. It's already hot enough as it is. Rosie! Don't try to pretend. You picked the raciest suit just for the lieutenant, the nervous some girls. Rosie, you're the one who told me to get it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> someone's going in the water. Oh, some mocap there. Don't lose your top! Hey! <laughs> hey, Elks. Oh. Pushed out the budget for the beach episode. I am. Been a while since we've come to the beach, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. Weren't you afraid of the wateries? I remember you clinging to that floaty porcabian. We tried to drag you out and you started bawling. Welkin, 
I was barely a toddler then. <laughs> Peace Walker. Peace Walker. That's the one. You must be a great swimmer by Sorry, I, I had to look it up. It was bugging me. None of your business. Days forever gone. Wilkes! Here goes, Welkin! Ah! Mike? And down goes the boss. Man, those kids got too much energy. Still in his uniform. Good old Largo. <laughs> You're sounding like an old man, Largo. What? I ain't that old. Oh no. Then why did you just sound like my grandfather, hmm? Yeah, yeah. You sure you don't want to go for a swim? I thought you liked that. Nobody wants to see me running around in a skimpy suit like those kids. Not at my age. Bad for morale. You need to you keep the Granny, you know, but hierarchy intact. You haven't changed a bit since the day you enlisted. You still can't recognize a joke. And you still got a mouth on you. They got keel over if that changed. <laughs> Thank you for the lovely compliment. Come to think of it, didn't we all go to the beach just after we enlisted? Yes, we had a big seashell hunt competition. I don't think you found a single one. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, that was a wild time. <laughs> then Frederick winds up soaked to the bone. Largo. No Frederick stories. Oh. Hey. I'm, I'm sorry. No. I should apologize. I'm going for a little walk. An awkward pair. East, over here. Pass the ball over here. Isara, nail him. Go. Uh, okay. Blank. Hans, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> she nailed the pig. All by yourself, huh? Why don't you go join them? Nah, that's not my thing. Mm-hmm. Always. I'm a redhead. Cool. I'm already sunburned. Hmm. <laughs> So what, did your journalist duties call you to the beach, or are you just bored? <laughs> Got me there. If I'm spending a day at the beach, I'd rather be with my boyfriend. Oh-ho-ho! Ho. You got yourself a boy, do ya? Color me jealous. Right? But there's times when I feel envious of you all, too. I interviewed a good chunk of Galia's army, but I didn't see any other units like yours. True comrades. The bond you guys have is really a cut above the rest. Hmm. <laughs> Get over there already. They're all waiting for you. Uh, I, I think they're all good. Oh, I could take pity on them. And it's not like chatting with an old married lady is any fun. <laughs> You're a piece of work. All right, guys, make room for me. Oh, a promising contender joins the fray. Rosie, think you could pair up with Isara? Uh. Sure, fine. Isara, pull your weight or you're swimming. Okay, I'll do my best, Rosie. All right, throw the ball, oh. Isara. Okay. God, don't hit me with it. You're supposed to throw it that way! Rosie, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. Self <laughs> 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 oh, piss off hands. 
Jesus. Right. Uh, done. 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 Ooh. Oh, we've got an actual fight in this one. Cool. War without weapons. The darks and hunt. The battle at Nagiar is almost upon us. Is there anything left to do beforehand? No, Captain. We've made due preparations. This will likely be the largest conflict you or I have seen. I want you rested and re- Oh, by the way, did the Darksons who survived back in Fausen make it out all right? They should have. I told them all to evacuate to Rangris as soon as they could. Speaking of the Darkson, I hear the Empire's begun another wave of hunts. Oh. Oh. Darkson hunting? I guess that's one way to get back the labor force they lost at Fausen. The report I read mentioned an enemy unit hunting Darksons by the border. I'm sending a squad to take care of it now. Go catch up on your sleep and relax a while. Captain Verat, would you let us do it? What? Please? Rosie! Oh. I'll second that, if we may, Captain. All right. I'll place Squad 7 in charge of this operation. The village in question has a large Darkson population. It's been raided time and again. Secure so the kill some Nazis. Yes, Captain. We'll leave as soon as we can. Yeah, let's see what... weird... Here is your mission brief. Stipulations we've got in this mission. Fix on the location of the Imperial squad responsible for the Dark Hunts. Your squad will take a position along their path. Once you see them, paint, swipe out the entire squad. Your objective is to neutralize the enemy every last Imperial soldier. Don't let any of them get away. If even one survives, it's only a matter of time before they find others and come back. Even one survivor will mean mission failure this time. You of all people should know these people must be stopped. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I've got both tanks. Jeez. Rose is there. Uh, that might be a tank, I guess. We'll have Claudia. We'll have Catherine. Uh... Sure, why not? That'll probably do. If there are no questions, the darks and hunts end here and now. Squad Seven, move out. Now, are we setting up an ambush? Awful lot of spots to hide around here. Yeah, especially around the... Huh, better believe they'll be running. All right, let's begin the mission. All right, what we got? We got sniper, we've got medium tank and a lancer. Okay, well... I'll move now. Sniper first. Hi. with those oily get in our way and we'll be all I'm not done yet moving out up you go Lock off 
the enemy's path. Enemy sighted! Enemy sighted! Are you lost? Use that tree as a landmark. Prevent them from reaching that village. Are they trying to get over there? I don't know. Yeah, there's a dude. I'll knock him dead. This one? Oh, that was some bad shooting. Oh. Ooh, found one. So there's two there. Leave it to me. Why? Who are these guys? Status report, soldiers. Okay, uh, Let's do this thing. yeah, might as well send Rosie in, I guess. Hi. Two medium tanks. Yeah. Uh, Just watch this. Yeah, we'll move Largo up a bit. Get up the wall, sorry. Please block off the Imperial's path. Jesus. How dare you? Here I come. Ow. Actually, see him. That's irritating. Enemy sighted. Yep. Yeah, okay. Well, I can see him. Now. God damn. I'm a weapon. No. Oh. Shield. Well, shit. Spot, huh? Lock off the enemy's path. We need those back. You asshole. Make it! That's a 
promise. Come on, this isn't even funny. Will this work? Yep, that worked. Why risk your... There's those who rule and those who obey. Ugh. Okay. Uh, you kind of need to get up there. Don't know if you're gonna have enough movement though. Go, go, go. Oh, just about. Okay, can I see anyone with anyone? Yeah, just about. Yep, yeah, should have seen that coming. Scouts could crawl in the grass for some reason. Don't know why. Here we go. Prepare to fire mortars. That works. Nice work. Keep taking them. Leave it to me. Definitely works. Under light oh. fire. A root. Scouts out there, I don't know. Jesus, I didn't even notice the damage needed to kill them. Oh, 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 oh. one HP. <laughs> Uh, okay. Enemy sighted. Go down. You're doing well. Just keep it up. Uh, uh. Here I go. You got any explosives on you? Oh, it does. Okay. All squad, check your equipment. A little bit closer. Oh man, he didn't even die. Oh, 
Uh, Entering combat. Uh, what's the? What's up there somewhere? I don't know. There's one. On the move now. Oh, there could be someone in this class. The enemy must be wiped out completely. Don't, don't see him. Uh. We've got no choice. You know where to meet up afterwards. Smug bastard. Sevens, we're hunting these cowards right back. Don't let them. Right. Not done yet. <laughs> no, not the It better not actually be fleeing. Hey, one of the Okay. God, there's tons of them. Look at them all, Jesus. I mean, this is probably my best shot, isn't it? Yeah, because they're all still one-shot kills. Yes. On the move now. I'll do my best. Line up for me. Oh no, he's got no ammo. Fuck. Got the sniper rifles out ammo. 
balls. Uh, Leave it to me. Yeah, gotta go with the safe bet, I guess. Alive. Keep an eye on your equipment. I'll be honest, I expected the flamer to kill both of them. A little disappointed. Certainly stops them moving at least. Roger. Can you seriously see him from here? Goodbye. Yes. Cheese. I'm not done yet. Here we go. Fire. Oh, sorry, Rosalind. <laughs> Jeez, that's a lot of money. Ooh. Fast is Dallas. For every wish away. You live in this village, kid? Where's your family at? The Imperials who came to the village before, they killed my parents. That's rough. Why do they all... Why do people hate us? Are they gonna keep hating us forever? I'll tell you something. My town got hit by a hunt, too. Really? And I sold them out! A whole bunch of Darksons live near me, see? And they burned the whole place down. My mom and little brother died in the fire. After that, I started hating Darksons too. Figured if it weren't for them, you know? But a good friend showed me I was all wrong. She was the first real Darkson friend I had. What's she like? How'd you become friends? She was real stubborn, but she was true. Kind and honest and strong to the core. But she and I were off fighting the Empire, and she got killed. Oh. Building a world where Darksons and everybody else got along was always her big dream. Her big dream was to fly. I figure now it falls on me to make sure that happens. Do you know a way to get people not to hate us? If so, please, please tell me. I wish I did, kiddo. All I know is... How to get things done my own way. Wanna know my plan? When this war's over, I'm gonna be a singer. A singer? Yeah. 
Songs sound the same to folks of all kinds. The feelings behind them get through. I'll keep singing until her dream comes true. She's growing old. You should figure out your own way, kiddo. How I'd change the world? Well, I gotta get going. Take care, kid. Enjoy being a war orphan. You too. I'm not gonna check that you've got someone to stay your food to eat. Bye. Check again. Isara, I got something to report to you today. A while back when we went to stop the hunts, I met a boy who'd lost his parents, right? Well, he sent me a letter. Said once I got to sing again, he'd come listen to me. <laughs> Good taste for a little squirt, huh? And he says he wants to become a doctor. Says that's his way of changing the world. I'm not promising miracles, but we'll try, bit by bit. You just watch. Take it easy, Asara. I'll come. Oh. And I think we're up to date. Yes. So we'll save that there. And yeah. We'll call that an episode, I think. Uh, we do have some more of the special missions to do before we finish the game. I might go back to the main story for a bit, though, first, because that was a whole episode of just side stuff. But yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time. Bye!